Machine Freaks, welcome back to another 3D Machines production. We've seen Jake quite a bit. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good it, thing. It's a good thing. Yesterday we didn't have such good luck and today Jake's not having such good luck. But I had nothing to do with what he's doing here. Jake just went out and bought this 8 feet of string so that he can fix the recoil on this sucker so he can actually pull the engine over and get it to start. I don't actually need all 8 feet if you guys are wondering. <laughs> Um, yeah, you do. I'll hang on to it over here, and then you pull it over there. Extra force. But then after that, we're going to go get Dalton's dirt bike, right? I hope. I like those tools you got there. Where'd you get those suckers from? Snap-on? Those are some nice set of pliers. Got her fixed. She's ready to rock. I right. slap that sucker on there. So what what did you have in mind? Instead of buying a ramp, I'm gonna build one. Fresh from the Jake the Toilet Snake Cave. So before we can make his sophisticated ramp happen, we have to get this chainsaw going. And this is like, was this already broken before you had this idea? Yeah. So he doesn't even know if this chainsaw is gonna run. Oh no, that run. Ten years ago. That's what they always say. Everybody who I've ever bought anything from, oh yeah, it used to run. I'm sure it did. Things always leave the factory running. Just did somebody maintenance it correctly. Uh oh. You want to turn that bolt so hard so that it gets really, really hard to turn, and then as soon as it gets soft to turn, that means you did it right. <laughs> As soon as it gives. Jake and I have a bet. I'm gonna bet that it takes 10 pulls to start this sucker up. Jake, what are you betting? I bet 13. 13 pulls. But it's probably gonna take more than both of us think, so. I don't know, that gas kind of smells raunchy. I might be changing my number real quick here. Nah, I'll stay, I'll stay strong at 10. Now you better not pull like a wuss because I got oh, a lower no. number than you. Full choke, guys. Eight, nine, ten. Oh! Oh, it fired on ten! It fired by that start. Oh, eleven! You gotta be fair and say that it did fire on the tenth pull, which is very, very ironic. <laughs> It, it's so cold outside, I don't even know if my camera's working right now. I pushed the record button and it took like 10 minutes to turn on, so... Jake, I don't even know if we're recording right now. Well, the actual temperature outside, I think, is like 19. It is like 10 degrees warmer in here. The wind chill. Well, we're gonna let this uh, glow plug heat up. Gonna see if it fires up. Basically, what we're doing is we have a rescue mission right here. This is what we got. This is our rescue vehicle. Sounds like she's constipated. Been a while, and it's freaking freezing, man. No one likes to get out of bed when it's cold out and really just a crack. We gotta let the rescue vehicle warm up before we go and get my bike. As you guys saw yesterday, we kind of left it in the woods. It was it was about to get dark anyways. Nobody was gonna get really get back there, so I wasn't too worried about it. Jake, I think, was more worried about it than I was. Yeah, I don't know why he left it down there, but it was dark and stuff. So. Jake, when I first met you, that tractor was huge. Now it's so small. Now I get to get nice, close, and personal with my best bud, Jake. Plus it's super warm out, so we're cool. Bike. What? Where's the bike? That direction. Where? Over there. I don't know. 
You don't even know where it is? It's over there somewhere. Up on. So we lost my bike. We'll find it. Of course I had to break down as far from the house as possible. There it is. Found it. We found a bike in the woods. We broke this ice yesterday. Yeah. That's how cold it is. It froze over in one night. It's so cold out that the ice froze over yesterday and it's only been like, what, 10 hours, 12 hours? And that's moving water. That's cold out. The coyotes visited. See the tracks? There's coyotes here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, they were keeping my bike safe from all the mice. Holy frick, look at your back tire. It's flat as a pancake. <laughs> Here, I'll walk beside it for a little bit and see what happens. Drake, you're a professional. You just got promoted. To what? Dirt bike, wood remover. Okay. I just want to mention, if you think I titled this video inappropriately, I'm sorry you feel that way, but the more views this channel gets, the more fun we get to have. Isn't that right, Jake? Cold rescue mission. How's your face? It's cold. I'm gonna go sit by the little heater. <laughs> Jake's taking care of the tractor. He's putting that away. I'm working on my own project for Jake. Uh, so basically, what Jake wants to make happen here is make a homemade ramp out of wood. He's a carpenter. I don't really know. Are you freaking nuts? Grab your leg and pull on you. Pull on me. about to cut Jake's homemade ramp up, but before we do that, I just want to mention that it is so cold in his attic, garage, whatever whatever you want to call it, it's so cold here that the lights aren't even turning on. It's not a sliding miter saw, it's just a... Miter saw. Or is it sliding or... I don't know, just cut the bar. There you go, I have a cut. Yeah, it's not a compound miter saw. There you go. Measure twice, cut twice. <laughs> Jake and I ended up getting some lunch before he had to take off for work. He actually ran out of time, which caused me to have to walk home. I think he was even late. That's okay, I get my exercise on this way. 